Well, hello again, and welcome to the wonderful world of amateur radio with VK6CS. Well, I hope you enjoyed the interlude, uh, the uh, two or three videos uh, about uh, driving around and trains. Um, and now back to the uh, now back to the radio. So I hope you've enjoyed your popcorn, and uh, you're uh, adequately rested. Now you may recall on the last video when I was testing this MFJ 250 dummy load on this meter here when I I've got the uh, the 857 set to 20 watts output I've got this uh, meter on the 20 watt range and I'm hoping you can see this see there's a red needle there it's going to about it's going to about 5 watts and I thought hmm that's a little bit strange so if I uh, just put that on cal and then I just calibrate that like that then go to SWR we can see it's over 2 to 1 can you see that that's over uh, over 2 to 1 see that red needle moving there and that's with it correctly calibrated it's on the 20 watt range if I go to power it's showing about 5 watts just under 5 watts, it might be 4 watts even so I thought well I <coughs> I, I know I've tested this um, 857 before and I know that on 70, this is on 70 centimeters. sorry I probably didn't say that it was fine on VHF and it was fine on HF this was the uh, the MFJ250 uh, dummy load when it got to UHF it's connected uh, it is connected at the moment if I go over there, there you go follow that carax along and it's connected to the um, the 857 it presents a very high SWR and initially I thought it might be this you know because it's not an industry standard thing it's just a ham radio uh, meter I thought it might be that not very good at VH <coughs> UHF even though it's supposed to be uh, uh, capable of going up to uh, 525 megs I think it is quite accurately so then I thought well <coughs> it could be because the SWR is so high that the FT857 because it's quite a clever device might be folding back the output power so if I now connect that to uh, another dummy load that I've got here now this one here um, is an old one I don't think it's uh, I don't know that it's rated to UHF it's certainly rated for VHF so I'll take that off there <laughs> Put that on there. I'm turning it anti-clockwise, so I'm trying to see where the. I just want to make sure the little tooth was engaged into that. I'm sure you know what I mean with those uh, 259 connectors. Okay, so now we go back to the meter. And now, if I put it, it's on. Uh, it's on power, I still haven't touched it, so I haven't touched this, it's on 20 watts uh, forward and power I press the PTT oh magically we found some more power, can you see that? Can you see that red needle going across there? so it's not going to 4 watts anymore that's going up to I don't know, 12 watts probably 12 watts now the the radio head it's still showing a little bit of SWR there, I don't know if you can see that can you see it on the left hand side, bottom left hand side of the display SWR is indicated and it's showing a little bit of SWR there and I think myself, even though it's not huge, I'll just recalibrate that difficult to do with one finger, but there we go Can you see that red needle moving on the left hand side there? Moving very slightly. I'll try and get rid of that glare. There you go. Can you see that moving very slightly? So that's about, I don't know, uh, that's two, four, six. Well, that's one point, one point two, four, six. No, that's one, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, five. Okay, sorry. So that's one point. <laughs> you can tell I use this a lot, can't you? That's one point two to one. 
and we're now getting 12 watts. Now I suspect that if I got the uh, UHF dummy load from work and I got the bird through line, so I did a video some time ago with the app, um, testing the 857 output power, and I think if I use that same bird through line with a proper UHF slug and a uh, proper UHF dummy load, um, I think on, on full output the FT857 gave 19 watts. But anyway, you can see, um, even though this is now not showing uh, 20 watts or 19 watts, it's showing 12 uh, with the MFJ. So with that, uh, with this little dummy load here, it shows about 12 watts. Uh, because we're at a 1.2 to 1 SWR, and this one here 2.2 uh, to 1 SWR. Um, it folds the output power back to 4 watts, and it's just the FT857 being clever. Uh, it just folds the output power back so it doesn't damage itself. So the MFJ250 dummy load completely hopeless uh, for uh, 70 centimeters, perfectly fine for 2 meters and below. Um, but uh, absolutely, uh, absolutely hopeless for uh, UHF, which is pretty much what it says. You know, it says it's uh, uh, greater. SWR is greater than two to one over 400 megs. So there's no. Uh, um, uh, they're not trying to hide the fact that uh, it's not very good at, uh, at UHF. So there we go. I just thought I'd do a quick video just to just to sort of clarify that last. That last, I think it was the last video I did where I said, well, I couldn't really quite understand why, you know, the radio was set to 20 watts, but it was only showing 5 watts on the meter, and that's why. It's because of the high SWR, the FT857 is winding the output power back to uh, uh, protect itself. And uh, as you can see, I've still got the radio head um, uh, bolted onto the, or uh, well, not bolted on, um, mounted onto the uh, cup holder. Um, I was hoping to do a couple of videos um, when I was out and about in the four-wheel drive over the last couple of days um, and uh, maybe get a couple of HF QSOs and uh, do a bit of uh, do a bit of GoProing and put that on the channel and actually show you that temporary uh, mounting arrangement in the car with that um, with that plopped into the cup holder but um, uh, the f it, it was it was absolutely raining cats and dogs. I didn't really want to get out of the car and uh, you know fix up the HF antenna and all that sort of stuff. And uh, it was a little bit busy as well, so didn't get around to it. But um, next time I'll make sure that that uh, that gets plugged into the cup holder, and uh, I'll show you the temporary installation. And uh, hopefully I'll get a couple of QSOs and show you it all working um, out and about mobile on 20 meters or on 40 or something. All right. Well, uh, thanks for uh, thanks for watching again, as always. And uh, just leave you with a final look at the two dummy loads. Uh, the 250, by the way, is not leaking oil, so uh, that's uh, that's a good thing about it. There's no uh, no oil on the paper, so um, I think we'll give that uh, we'll give that a pass. That uh, as a as a budget high power load, because you can put uh, supposedly you could put one and a half kilowatts into this thing. Uh, for 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, time may tell, uh, depending on how much power I get out of my HF amplifier. But I am, I am mindful that uh, you know if the oil does start to uh, to uh, heat up and give off fumes, that uh, they are carcinogenic, can't breathe the fumes. So I might actually have a bit of coax going outside. You know, if it looks, if I'm being optimistic here, but if it looks like I'm going to get enough power out of that amplifier to actually boil the oil, then uh, I'll make sure it's mounted outside. So. Uh, the worst it will do is uh, kill off some of the uh, native wildlife. Okay, once again, uh, hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.